Hey guys, how are you doing? It is always a delight for me to have you around, okay? So in today's tutorial, I'm going to be teaching us how to make this beautiful and amazing auto gele made from African print, otherwise known as Ankara. But before we do, I want to say a big thank you to our subscribers. Thank you to those that are yet to subscribe because I know you are going to do. Kindly tap on the subscription button in front of you and tap on the bell to get subscribed. Thank you. Let us go to the cutting table. All right. So, like I already showed you guys the um, picture we're working in on the thumbnail. Okay, so before we get started... I know you've already subscribed like I encouraged us to. So we just go straight to um, the project of the day, right? So I have here with me this piece of fabric. So like you already know, we're making um, Ankara Auto Gele, okay? Or Auto Gele that is made with African print, okay? So like I always do when, you know, we are using a lot of fabrics, I like showing you the fab the materials we are using. We're using a lot of materials. I like showing you the materials in bits. Okay, so um, it enables you to follow properly and not get confused at any point. Okay, so we are going to make the base of the auto gele. Okay, so I'm not supposed to show this process, you know, in this tutorial video because we have the friends and um, videos on the channel. Okay, that teaches us how to make base auto gele base both the zigzag base the um the round base you know any kind of base already have it on the channel but for the purpose of those who probably this is their first time let me just quickly do let me do a quick you know illustration on how to achieve the base so for this project we are using two yards of ankara fabrics okay two yards of ankara fabrics we may exhaust it we may not exhaust it <coughs> excuse me so this is for the ankara for the base of the of the gele okay or i've already had it cut out but i'm going to show you the measurements so the width the head circumference area hmm? i'm having here with me 18 inches 18 inches okay so this 18 inches is after I had folded, because I had to fold, you know, it's African prints on like um, Ashoke. The edges are already neatly done. So I had to fold. So I folded it in neatly. Okay. Neatly. So before I folded, I had 20 inches. So minus the fold, we have 18 inches left. Okay. And then... That's the length, the width right now, which is the body of the gele, you know, the part that is going to cover your head. We are having 22 inches left. Hmm? Hope you're saying it. 22 inches. Before now, it was 24. Like I said earlier, I have folded, you know, the ends. Okay, I also went ahead to fold this part, okay? So these are to form your plates for those who are, you know, newbies in the block, if this is your first time. So, like I already showed you, I have folded this part, folded it in neatly, okay, properly folded in. Okay, so I'm going to pick my plates this way. It's very easy. You pick it this way, okay. You sew it down, right? You can choose to hold it down with your pin first. You pick the next one. You sew it down. Please, can I get a pin? Right. So you choose to hold it down with your pin. I'm just doing this for the 
benefit of those who probably this is their first time okay you hold it down you sew it okay you pick the next split making sure that the next split covers the thread you use in sewing the preceding plate okay that's how to do it and you sew okay you pick the next one so you have to determine in your heart how many plates you want to make you want to have all together right now we have four okay we have four and I think I'm good with four okay let me measure what we have left after having four clicks. Mm? After having four clicks, we have 16 and a half inches left, which I think is okay. All right. So, you sew. Okay. So, I'll go and hold mine down and then I will get back to us. Stay tuned. So we are done with making our plates for the all right guys. So we are done with making our plates for the base. So I've gone ahead to attach one part of the um, string for tying to it. So I'm going to show you how to achieve it. Okay, there are different ways of you know attaching your string to your turban base, but let me show you this method. If you already know it, it's fine. But if you don't know it, this is an opportunity for you to learn it, okay? Okay, so if you're watching this video up to this moment and you've not subscribed, you want to say please consider subscribing. Tap on the subscription button right in front of you. And please tap on the bell so that you will get a notification whenever we drop a new video, okay? All right, thank you for doing that. God bless you. So you pick up your string of fabric. I'm having here with me. Um, the length is um, 17 inches. 17 inches all right and the width is 5.5 .5. okay so this is the right side of the fabric so i'll place it to the right side of the base this way okay halfway midpoint this is the midpoint of the belt or the string so the mid midpoint i'll place it on the beginning at the beginning of the base that way okay and then i'll flip it over this way hope you got it okay so this is what we have okay so i'm going to pull this part of the this part of the base inwardly like this okay so you are virtually um or practically covering just this part where all your pleats you know meet this pleated part that's the part you are covering please kindly take note okay so i cover it this way okay and then i pull this is the body of the base i pull it inwardly like this okay this way and then i'm going to sew all right i'll take the sewing from here half inch and when i get to the end of where the pleat stop i'll bring it down this way so we are sewing you are sewing on the string the body of the base is inside the string okay so you are sewing the string you see hope you understand so you sew like this you get to the end you come down and you sew to the end of your string hope you got it here so i'm gonna sew mine right now and then so when you are done sewing okay so we can just continue when you are done sewing okay let me just hold it down with my pin for you to see so we can get into other parts of the video when you are done sewing you are going to pull it up this way and this is what you are going to have so it's invariably hide all the all the rough edges inside just like what i have here on the other string it hide all the rough edges inside for you okay all right so when you're done doing that you are practically done with your base so you just keep that aside and then we go straight to forming our plates now how do we form our plates 
the frame for the crown okay the frame that makes it also gaily proper so i have here with me an interfacing cord wording okay we tell us we designers we use it you know to pad the posterior area of a dress for women the posterior area is the breast parts you know of a dress for women so this is called wording it is an interface and how be it it is the hard one because you have them in different um texture so to say but this is the hard one okay it's the hard one all right that's what we are using we have them in different texture okay we have the soft one we have the medium soft one we have the just like that but this is the hard one so i'm going to measure i'm going to be cutting this out in one one inch hope you get so i'm just going to do an illustration for instance i want to use a frame size the frame now a frame size of 24 inches okay 24 inches so i can use 24 i can use 26 i can use 28 it depends on how um curvy you want your frame to be at the back side of your auto gilly okay but for the benefit of this class, we are going to be using 24. Okay, so the length right now, I want to show you how to achieve that. So the length right now, we have a length of 24. We are doing a 24 inches length. Okay, so this is 24. All right, so let me start from here. So I measure, I mark... I mark one inch. You're just going to mark one one inch on your wording. This way. One one inch. You keep marking one one inch. Okay. This way. So we are looking at getting about 10 strings. Okay. 10 of this one one inch cuts out. Alright. Hope you are following. And then you cut them out. The length you are cutting out is a length of 24 inches. So like I said before now, you can choose to make yours 26, 28. It all depends on how curvy you want your frame to appear at the back of your auto gilly. Okay? But for the benefit of this class, let's just use 24. Okay? So I'll just roll down all my, all my darts, which is the one inch this way. Okay, you take the next line, which is also one inch, you roll it down, you roll the next one down, okay, that way, and then you grab your scissors, and then you cut them out into tiny string, a one inch string, okay. And then you continue cutting till you get your required string like i said eight or ten is enough all right so i add it it all depends on on how high i also want the frame to be okay so i'll just keep this aside and reach out for a fabric for our fabric so you pick up your ankara piece because we're going to be wrapping them with ankara piece so we are going to measure three inches your ankara piece now okay so since you have a 24 inches length of the wording cuts out okay so your anchor piece may be like 28 okay so that's um towards the ending part of the of the wording you know at the back it will not be too bulky okay so you have just your anchor piece at that area to enable you so your needle can penetrate you know and all the things that part will not be too bulky and too thick for your needle to penetrate hope you get all right so we are just going to cut out since we have a 24 inches um wording we are going to do either a 28 or a 30 inches just have some ss left okay so this piece now is on fold okay i folded it into two okay i folded it into two the width is three inches so you're cutting out three inches okay three inches the width is three inches and then the length like i said earlier can be like um 28 you know since you have 24 wording so if it is 28 let's say we are using 28 since your fabric is on fold you are going to do 14 inches okay if you open it it will give you 28 so you cut it out this way when you open it it will give you 28 hope you got it right so and then you cut them out in different strands you have 10 pieces of the wording you should also have 10 pieces of this cut out fabric 
okay so after cutting them out this is what we have now okay after cutting them out this way we are going to sew you pick one of your wording you pick one of your cut out fabric the one you've shredded okay so we just have them this way and then you place your wording on your fabric okay you try to um locate the middle part the middle part the middle of your fabric okay the middle of your fabric this is because you are going to be placing your wording and your fabric middle to middle okay it will enable you have just the fabric you know at the tail part of this and not having this you know at the end if you add this at the end and you put all of this together it will be very hard very thick your needle will not penetrate okay so that is the middle part we've indicated i'm also going to indicate the middle part of my wording okay this way and then i will place it this way okay so this is the middle part i will place it this way middle to middle okay i'll place it this way and then i will use the fabric hmm, to wrap it like this I will wrap the fabric around the wording okay so two things when you wrap it around the wording like this you can choose to also fold it again okay you can choose to fold it again all right you choose to fold it again and then sew mm? but you can also choose to leave it this way so if you are leaving it this way you know when you fold it like this and sew Hmm? it will cover this rough parts of your cut out piece okay but if you want to leave it this way it means you are going to fold this part inwardly like this okay like this hope you're getting what i'm showing you you're going to fold it inwardly like this you see the rough part is covered and then you sew on it straight down straight down straight down okay that way okay so straight down okay till you exhaust all of this so i'm going to go cover mine now and sew and bring it back for you to see please if there is a place you don't understand in this video please kindly backward it and listen to it or watch it again all right so that or if you have any concern any question please drop your question on the comment section below all right all right guys so um we are done sewing our strips okay for the frame as you can see so at this point i'm going to show us how to arrange it okay to get our frame hope you get okay so bring a mannequin all right all right this is the base we've already made okay so start by arranging our uh, strips using a glue gun so pick it one by one okay and just position position the first one okay and then pin it down behind this is the first one get your pin use your pin to hold it down at the back and leave it there you're not going to bump this first one at this point okay you pick the next one you position it this way so it is from this next one now you will start Dummy. You just apply your gum a little. Hope you're seeing what I'm doing. Neatly and carefully. So that your gum does not spill out. That way. Okay. I may not show the entire process of gumming all of it so we don't get to waste so much time. But basically, this is how to go about it. You pick up 
pick up the next one you place so you're just arranging them on top of each other okay that's way you reach out for your glue you place it And that is it so you continue like that like that like that till you exhaust everything you just keep placing and placing and placing you see it's coming out beautifully already all right you see it's coming out beautifully already so you just basically keep placing and gluing this way you see it's coming out beautifully already so i'm going to go ahead and place and glue all mine and then we'll come back to show you what to do to the back side right all right guys so i'm done arranging mine as you can see i love this oh my god i'm sure you like it too and i'm sure you're thinking if you should make one for yourself and all that please go ahead and make one for yourself because i'm also thinking if i should make one for myself as well as this is for a client okay so we are done arranging okay so if you actually watch this video up to this moment and you've not subscribed hmm, i think you're not doing yourself a favor um doing yourself you're doing yourself a, a disfavor or a favor okay please i encourage you to tap on the subscription button because you have a lot to learn from this channel mm -hmm. And don't forget to tap on the bell. The bell enables you to get notification the moment we drop a new video. Like this video, share it, give it a thumbs up. When you give it a thumbs up, it makes it visible for others to see. It makes it go far and wide. Okay? So please kindly do that. And um, if you have a concern, always remember to drop it on the comment section below. Okay? All right. So we have this right now. So at this point, we are just going to... Um, going to trim off this part okay and then um, all right so we are just going to trim off this part and attach attach a handle to it and um, that is it basically okay what we have so i already gone ahead to make two straps i'm sure you know how to make this just the same way we'll make the one for the base right so we are going to tuck it in this way and glue it this way okay and then we glue it and also tuck with a needle and thread. Make sure your gluing is very neat as this glues have tendency of messing up your work. You do the same to the other handle. 